solemn moments as sympathizers that include diplomats, past and seven members of the executive, legislature and representative of the Sultan of Sokoto converge on the residence of the late Ujumadukwe to commiserate with the family. It's really um, a very important contribution uh, to the life of this country and especially during the demo, uh, democratic uh, dispensation. The experience he has acquired over the years in politics and government, this is very difficult to, to fit. Ojo was someone like an institution, uh, someone who was ready to do what is right. He worked tirelessly uh, to develop and strengthen uh, relations between Canada and Nigeria. He was a Pan-Africanist too. I mean, he thought about everything he could do to reproduce what Nelson Mandela did in South Africa. For the deceased political constituency, the PDP, his outstanding legacy lives on. That, that's a great hard-working nationalist that passed away. We'll use the passing of Ojo as a pedestal to fortify the party, which was his dream. Very principled, very strict. There were more and more encomiums on the late Ojo Madukwe, who touched lives positively. The day, 1st July, would have been a grand celebration for the deceased family to mark his wife Ocha and her twin sister's 70th birthday, but was observed with a praise service. He came, he conquered, and God took him away. I'm still in a, in a bit of shock. So. Ojo was a very unique individual. Talati Izuriki, NTN News.